Hello and welcome to the World of Maps, editable PowerPoint Maps sales and marketing presentations. Today's video lesson will be how do I add text to a map. So let's get a map up here. And today we're looking at one of our USA detailed county maps. And all of our maps, uh, whether they're US or county or country or whatever, every object, whether it's a piece of text or it's a county or a state, is a separate individual element. And what that means is that I can select them, I can color them, I can set up territories, I can select any element of text, I can change it, I can do whatever I want. Before we begin adding text, let me just take in a quick tour of the drawing toolbar. This is where most of the tools are located that you will be using to customize a map. Over here on the left, we have the draw pull down menu and we can do arranging here, bring to front to back, group, that kind of thing. Uh, the next tool that's important to us would be the text tool right here using that shortly. We also have a pull down menu that has standard shapes, arrows, stars, that kind of thing. And as we move further to the right, we have the paint bucket, which allows us to change colors on things. So that's the drawing toolbar, an important um, thing that you need to know about. To add text, all we do is with the pointer, you click in it with your mouse button on the text insertion tool, click anywhere on your slide, because we can move, it or move the text around very easily. I'm just clicked on the slide and I get a text insertion box. I'm just going to type in here, sales offices. And now we have a piece of text. Text has two different states to it. Um, the first one is it's just live text, just like in a word processing file. We can add words, delete words, all that kind of stuff. The second is this frame that runs around the outside. If we move our cursor over to the frame, notice how it changes from text to a little hand and we click and hold down with our mouse button on the PC would be the right mouse button it now becomes an object and I can move that object anywhere I want on the screen so if I want to put it down here or put it up here it's really easy to do so I'm just going to center it right in the middle now what I would like to do to this text is I'd like to enlarge it and give it some color and to do that I'm going to bring in my floating palette and the floating palette is located under the view pull down menu up at the top and this has all the different kinds of things that you might want to do and not only is it for text it's for objects too but we're going to be doing just with the text I can change my fonts I can change my alignments add bullets all that kind of stuff so if I go into this into my text and I rapidly click on it so I select the whole thing or I can drag over it with the mouse button it's now selected and I can go to the font size and I'm going to make it 36 point so now it's bigger and here I'm going to move it remember I went to my outer the outer frame clicked on it and held down with my mouse button I can move it so I now have it the size that I want but it's not the color that I want so I'm going to again click on it I'm going to drag over it so that it's selected and I can go over to my floating palette and bring up my type color pull down menu and I'm going to make it red I can also do that from up here too, the same thing. It's also there. So now I have it red. I have it the size I want, but it's not the font that I want. So I'm going to go back into my formatting palette. You notice right in this section where it says name, it's telling me that this font is in the is in the typeface of Times, but I'd like to make it I think Gil Sands. So let's go to Gil Sands right here, Gil Sands, and deselect and move my font palette out of the way and I now have it in red the size I want and the typeface I want. One of the other things that's important about type is that you can also delete it if you don't want it and our maps come with all the names of the counties or the state names or whatever and all I have to do is just click on it and again click on that outer frame and if I hit the delete key on my keyboard it will just disappear. So that's a great way of getting rid of text that you don't want. Just select the outer frame, and hit the delete key. You can also make this box, because it's an object sometimes, I can also fill it with a color. So if I just select it and I go to my fill bucket instead of my type color bucket, I'm going to just change this to red. And I also need to make the type white so you can see it and reverse it out. It's white and it looks like that. A great way to add some color and a nice big block of color with the type being a different color. So, um, so today we learned a little bit about uh, adding some type. 
moving the type around, changing its color, its font size, uh, deleting it, um, and also making the box it surrounds it a different color. Thank you very much for joining us at the World of Maps. It's the editable PowerPoint maps for sales and marketing presentations. Our uh, easy to customize and edit maps. We have world and U.S. and states and counties. Great for building up uh, territories or showing where your products are, that kind of thing. Maps can be found at uh, bjdesign.com for a subscription, or you can also download them individually at mapsfordesign.com. As always, you can also get them on CD-ROM. Thank you very much, and see you next time.